Hello, this is Mike Lively from Northern Kentucky University, and today we're going to start our Part 6 series on Over the Rhine in Adobe Flex. And today we're going to actually finish up the navigation system, and I'm going to show you how to put an accordion component into the nav system. Now if you go to the front page, and I'm going to remind you a little bit about the navigation system. We had previously built a home page, a wiki, a blog, a community site, and a reading site, and we'll go back to home. If you go to the home page, we're going to double click on the application and open it up a little bit. You can see we have too much on the page. We have a Yahoo Maps, a, a podcasting, vodcasting, and a content piece, and that's just too much for the front page. So we actually want to build some components in there and actually uh, become a little bit more efficient. One thing we're going to want to do is combine the podcasting and the Yahoo Maps together. So we'll build out a component to do that. The other thing we're going to do is bring in an accordion component so we can separate the Yahoo Maps and podcasting from the content system. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to double click on Over the Rhine to bring out our components again. And we're going to go to the components section and navigate down and look for the accordion component. And there's the accordion right there. I'm going to drag that accordion to the stage inside the canvas. So let's grab it right here and drag it in. And there's my accordion component. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the source code and see what we've done. We've actually added a con the accordion component right in here. And it only has one uh, piece called the accordion pane. Let's go back to design and take a look. There's our accordion pane. So we actually want a Yahoo pane and a content pane. So let's go ahead and add that, those panes. So let's go back to source. I'm going to change this accordion pane to Yahoo. We'll call that Yahoo Maps. And that's one pane and you just add another you add another pane just by copying that canvas again. So let's copy that and paste it. And we'll just type in content. And that's good. So you see when you work with uh, Flex you want to go back and forth between the design mode and the source mode to do different things. Now we have this and we want to start adding these instance canvas components to this system. Now I've kind of lost, uh, you can see when I click on that my content goes up and there's my Yahoo map piece. I want to put my components or canvases into this uh, accordion. So first of all let's stretch this accordion out a little bit. If you have problems grabbing the accordion just go back to the source code Let's go back to the source code and we're going to just basically highlight the accordion component. And go back to design mode and you can see it's highlighted now so I can actually grab those control. Okay so let's move that around a little bit. And I can use the shift key actually to move it more rapidly so I can actually grab it. And let's stretch it out a little bit so I'm done shifting. Let's grab one of those control handles let's stretch it out a little bit. grab one here at the side. Let's stretch it out. There we go. Stretch it out a little bit. And let's stretch it out a little bit to the side. Now in my Yahoo Maps component I want to put uh, the Yahoo Maps and the podcasting canvas components. So I'm actually going to just basically shift click on both of those. I'm going to cut those components. I'm going to click on the Yahoo Maps piece and paste them. And so now those two components actually exist inside my Yahoo Maps uh, according container piece and I'm gonna bring that up a little bit. Grab that and bring it up. And now we're actually gonna stretch it out a little bit so you can see it. And let's go up here to fit to window uh, uh, 1024 by uh, 768 and let's start stretching that out. And you can see those two components actually now exist inside of that container. Okay, My container has popped out of the over the rind so let's bring it right back into the canvas. There it is right down there. Let's move it down. Let's stretch it up. There we go. So now I have a little bit more real estate there to work with. And now what I want to do, I want to put my content into the content con container. So what I can come along here and do is just click on that, right click and cut. Click on the content piece and bring it up to the top. And just paste that right in there. Right click and paste. You can see that content canvas is now inside of my uh, accordion component. All right, there you go. 
So if I click on the Yahoo Maps at the top, you can see there's my two uh, Yahoo Map and podcasting. And if I click on the uh, content, I can see there it is in my accordion. If I go to Source View right now, let's take a look and see what I'm looking at. I can see, yes, indeed. Let me double click on that so we can see the whole pane. We have added two Canvas components to the first Yahoo Maps container and then one single Canvas component to the content comp container, ex which is exactly what we wanted to do. Now at this point what we want to do is build out these different components and I've already built out the content uh, container in Google Code so let's go ahead and take a look at that so if you go to code.google.com forward slash p forward slash simple flex photo viewer you can actually see this component that we've built out and we're gonna actually substitute it in for this container right here so let's go to that address right now And there's my uh, simple flex photo viewer. Now this photo viewer is unique in the sense that you find a lot of stuff here that you can't find in one place in the literature. It has a data sorting piece, a tile repeater, an XML HTT services piece, an inline MXL action scripting, click on double functions, and use of C data tags in the XML backend, tool tips, glow and fade effects, and much more. And all this is done with less than 100 lines of code. That's if you take out the blank lines. So all you have to do here is you can watch the YouTube uh, presentation here and you can take a look at the demonstration. Let's click on that. And it basically it glows when you roll over the different uh, subtopics. You click on a subtopic and below those are the different images that you want to click on. When you click on a different image you see the text changes and you have a fade in of the image. It's a nice component and I discuss it in the YouTube video so please go there. But most importantly what you want to do, let's go back to that real quick, is We'll go back one. Download it in the download section. And then you can basically manipulate that and put that into Flex. And we're going to show you how to do that and how to put that component into the Over the Rhine uh, website next time. So now that we've built out our navigation system, let me show you how it works. So let's come in here and run it. So hit OK. And the system is building right now. And so here's the web page, and basically you can see you have a Yahoo Maps component. When you click on content, there's your content piece right there. If you go from home to wiki, you can see it doesn't exist there anymore because we only put the accordion on the home state. So you can see that programming in states is extremely efficient and easy to do. So next time we're going to come along here and we're going to put that content component from Google code right in there, and I'm going to show you how to do that. Thanks for listening. This is Mike Lively from Northern Kentucky University.